Are you pro glue stick or anti glue stick? Are you that 3D printing purist or do you slather that glue stick on so thick the build plate isn't even recognizable anymore? Well, as it turns out, bed adhesion is a bit of a sticky topic. So let's jump right into this glue war and even look at an advanced adhesive you may not have even heard of. Glue stick, hairsprays, and slurries are all adhesives that act as interface layers between the printed model and the surface of the build plate. When hot, an adhesive helps hold down the bits of the print that want to curl up and lift away from the build plate as the print naturally cools during the printing process. When cold, they act as a release agent that prevents the polymer from sticking too well to the build plate. A classic example of that is printing PETG on a glass build plate. You'll end up with shattered glass in an order for a replacement build plate. Because PTG bonds so well to the glass, you need an interface between them to prevent damage. Okay, so I know that there are a bunch of you 3D printing purists out there right now that swear that adhesives aren't necessary. That you spend the time to dial in your first layer and get your bed and environmental temperatures just right to never need an adhesive. And there is some truth there. Squishing down your first layer is an extremely effective way to help prevent prints from curling or coming loose from a build plate while printing. But that doesn't mean necessarily that there aren't use cases for adhesives. Check out this interesting stat. In the past eight months, one, just one of my affiliate links for Amazon Basics purple PVA glue sticks, you know, the big, big purple ones, right? Has sold more than 29,358 sticks. That's an awful lot of glue sticks for adhesives on a build plate to be wrong. In fact, PVA glue sticks are included with almost every new FDM 3D printer that ships still to this day. Some companies like Bamboo Lab even recommend an initial seasoning of their build plates with PVA glue just to make sure that the models don't stick too well on those fresh new build plates. Comment below and tell me if you love or hate glue sticks. I want to know. Think of adhesives like an insurance policy. Every single one of us has lost a large print due to bed adhesion issues. It's just a part of 3D printing. Adding a little extra something to help keep a print where it should be helps us save from time and material waste. Dimensional accuracy for many in our industry is quite important too. So squishing down that first layer so tight that your tolerances are negatively affected or having your prints warp on the build plate and changing shapes isn't an option either. So I hope that even the purists among us can recognize that regardless, if you are super careful and focused, there are unexpected changes in temperature, drafts of air, and even just filaments or goofy models with tiny parts that just won't stay stuck. It happens. And that is exactly why adhesives exist in the first place. Up to this point, we've been more or less talking about PLAs and PETGs, but what about more exotic filaments like ABS, ASA, nylons, and even polycarbonates, and even more advanced filaments like PEAK? Well, some of these filaments are more prone to warping because of the shortening that happens to the polymer chains as prints cool. And some of these filaments you just can't print without an adhesive. Well, this is exactly where PVA glue comes to an end, and we have to step up into more industrial interface layers. In a video from last year when I was printing a carbon fiber axe on the Comgro T500, I used Vision Miner's nano polymer adhesive to hold a large print down on that giant 500 millimeter bed. And before that, when printing polycarbonate on a Razer D machines, specifically the Pro 2, I used the same nano polymer adhesive to prevent warping and cracking with those very expensive filaments. In a recent conversation with Vision Miner, they shared with me some interesting details about their nanopolymer adhesive that I felt were important enough to pass along to you. I had simply and incorrectly assumed that their nanopolymer adhesive was reserved only for more exotic filaments, but in fact it works far better than PVA glue and lasts even longer when it's used with PLAs and PTGs, which is kind of cool. I was told that you can print repeatedly on a single application of nanopolymer adhesive up to as many as 30 to 50 times before another application is necessary. Little goes a long ways. The need for really applying the adhesive really comes down to how much stick is required for the material. More advanced materials remove a little more of the adhesive when you remove the prints versus materials like PLA and PTG that don't remove as much because they naturally just stick quite a bit less to the build surface. Also. I was cleaning nanopolymer adhesive off my build plates with isopropyl alcohol. When it turns out, Vision Miner told me that nanopolymer adhesive is water soluble. Um, how cool is that? So I guess I could have just been rinsing those build plates off in the sink. As you would imagine, the more advanced the adhesive, the deeper the dive into your wallet. But Vision Miner just recently created these awesome 10 milliliter bottles of their nanopolymer adhesive that are available on their website right now for like five bucks. Actually, they're only like 
450 or something like that. If you use my discount link, and I'll have that on the screen and in the description for you. That 10 milliliter bottle seems small, I know, but according to Vision Miner, it can be applied only where you print and as many as five to 10 times across a 180 millimeter squared build volume, meaning you can keep hundreds of prints insured with, uh, with that really small bottle. Pretty cool. Now, a lot of you are asking, interface layers, how do they keep prints down, but also let you remove them easily? Well, with the Vision Miner's nanopolymer adhesive, that's their secret sauce. But I was told that their secret sticky recipe activates at temperatures above 50 to 60 C, meaning it can hold down everything from PLAs and PTGs, nylons and peak, and still releases rather effortlessly when the build plate cools. If you've used Vision Miner, let me and others know what you think in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this content and made it all the way to the end, drop a like and subscribe. We're a small channel and it helps us out a lot. If you do use adhesives, that's awesome. Give Vision Miner a try. And if you haven't yet needed it, it's not a bad idea to grab a bottle and have it handy for when you do need it. And again, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Boom.